my channel so obviously as you can tell i had a little makeover which is why i wasn't able to upload last week because i did travel to austin to be a hair model for lynn his username will be right here you have to go check him out like his transformations are amazing he literally transformed my dark brown hair in one session like i was shook shook his work will have you shook i feel like i'm overusing the word shook but that's basically describes his work <laughs> without further ado let's get into this fun pink glam so like always i already did one eye can we just talk about these eyelashes like look how beautiful they are okay wait it's bothering me so little trick you see how some of the glitter is up there just take a regular brush and just simply swipe them off that kind of flick it see now i don't have any more glitter okay perfect so we are going to be digging into my Nini Z palette. This is the difference. This is the small one. This is the large one. Huh. I decorated it with the Too Faced stickers. Anyway, so first we are going to be digging into this color right here. It is the Makeup Geek Shadow in Sorbet. So of course, using my Morphe M441 brush, you guys know that it is my holy grail. We're going to be using this shade as a transition color. This look is going to be so easy, you guys are going to be like, wow. You don't really have to intensify this color just because it is a transition shade. We're going to be taking this shade right here, which is called Cupcake. We're literally just using two shadows and glitter for this look. So we're going to be cutting the crease with some concealer. Okay, you guys. I need to talk to y'all about these brushes. Okay, so I've been using these brushes nonstop. I told my Snapchat fam. Um, hold on. Let me find that. So this brush comes with a set. This is the best eyebrow brush ever. Okay, so the reason why I like it is because it's thinner than the ABH one and it's longer and it is thinner. You get a more precise defined eyebrow. So that's why I love it. I use this one to pat on the glitter or any shadow. I use this one to clean my eyebrows and then I'm going to use this one right now to cut the crease. Like these are just really good brushes. Um, I got you guys the hookup. The set is $100, but with my coupon code, you can get them for $30 with 70% off. So yeah, they're definitely worth it. If you've been looking for a new brush set, then definitely check those out. I will have the link down in the description box below. So, like always... So once that is done, we are going to be taking this color right here, which is called Pink Champagne. So we're just going to be taking that with the flat brush that I was talking about and just pat it on. Since these brushes are like really thin at the end, they're like super, super, super precise. So they're perfect for cut creases. You see how I still have that sharp line although I put shadow over? So right here you can stop and just put on liner if you don't want to do glitter, but Obviously, I have to add glitter. I'm going to be using this NYX glitter. It's called Rose. Of course, like always, I'm going to use the Too Faced Glitter Glue. You guys know this is my ride or die. It's the only glitter glue I will ever use until I die. The glitter glue, you're going to follow that line so the glitter can stick right on that sharp line. Make sure you don't get any glue outside. Taking that same brush I used to pack on Pink Champagne. It's a perfect brush because it's so good. Once I am done with my eyeliner, I am going to be popping on some falsies. Today we will be using the Be Bella Lashes in Holly. If you do not know this, this is one of my favorite, favorite brands. For today's primer, I will be using the Makeup Forever Skin Equalizers. I already own I already own the base hydrating one because obviously I have dry skin. I am already in love with this primer, but I have not tried this one. This is the smoothing primer. So I'm going to apply this on the areas that I'm usually dry in, which is my T-zone. And then I'm going to apply the smoothing one on the rest of my face. So now that that is drying and getting tacky, we're going to be using the Makeup Forever HD foundation. So this is not the stick. You guys know that I gravitate towards a stick. The stick is my baby. The HD stick is my holy grail. Like, I don't even want to move from it. Like, that's the only foundation I want to use for the rest of my life. 
but they did send me the liquid one i've heard great things about this foundation from my friends so i'm kind of excited to try it out i am in the shade um y365 So for foundation brush, I will be using the Morphe M439. You guys know that this is recently one of my favorite foundation brushes. So far so good. I am liking it, but I do feel like the HD stick has more coverage. But I am going to try to build it up. So now I'm going to try to build the coverage on this side using a beauty blender. Okay, yeah, that's way better. I don't know why I just don't stick to my beauty blender. Yeah, way better. Definitely way better with the beauty blender. Next, I'm going to be using my Makeup Forever HD Concealer. You guys already know I'm a huge fan of this one. Also, I am in the shade R20. Obviously, using my MBM translucent powder, you guys know I do not use any other translucent powder. So I'm just going to set this area right here where it tends to crease. The reason why I only set the under eye areas is because we're going to go in with the Benefit High Beam on the cheeks just to act as a base for when we put on our highlight. This thing is so freaking long. Okay. So next I'm just going to pat my face with the powder. I'm going to avoid the areas where I added that high beam just because I still want it to be wet when I applied my highlight. So next what I've been loving to do is I'm going to use this LA Girl Pro Face Foundation Press Powder with my Morphe G5 and as I'm setting it I'm going to dust away that powder that we put on there also. We're just going to be using the exact same shades we use on the top lid on the bottom lid and just add some mascara and then start the contour. For eyeliner, I am going to be using this Aqua XL Eye Pencil in White by Makeup Forever. For today's highlight, I will be using the the Becca Times Jaclyn Hill Champagne Collection. I'm going to mix these two shades right here. Next, I'm going to use my fan brush and I'm going to be using the Sleek Palette. For lip liner, you guys know this is my favorite lip liner. This is the ColourPop Lip Liner in BFF. Last but not least, I'm going to be putting on the Kylie lip gloss in literally, this is my favorite lip gloss. I do not wear any other one. I'm going to be using my handy dandy Urban Decay All Night Setting Spray. So that is it for today's tutorial. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Do not forget to like and subscribe the video. Before I let you guys go, I do have some really great news. I will be having a Dallas meets and greet before I do leave to California. It will be on September the 11th. So the day is coming up pretty close. But once it's closer to that day, I will be giving you guys a location either on Twitter or Instagram. You guys know that I always will update you guys or on Snapchat. On my social media, I will let you guys know the location. I still have not decided yet. But yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Bye.